हेलो एवरीवन आई एम रोहिणी ठुमरे लेक्चरर कंप्यूटर टेक्नोलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट के के वॉक पॉलिटेक्निक नासिक इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन प्रैक्टिकल नंबर 15 फ्रॉम कोर्स फंडामेंटल ऑफ आईसीटी द टाइटल ऑफ दिस प्रैक्टिकल इज स्लाइड प्रेजेंटेशन यूजिंग टेबल्स एंड चार्ट्स लेट एस फर्स्ट डिस्कस द प्रैक्टिकल सिग्निफिकेंस टेबल कैन बी यूज टू ऑर्गेनाइज एंड एनालाइज डेटा इन प्रेजेंटेशन एंड द चार्ट आर विजुअल एलिमेंट्स दैट रिप्रेजेंट्स द डेटा इन द फॉर्म ऑफ वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ ग्राफ्स द विजुअल मेथड कैन मेक द पॉइंट मच स्ट्रांगर दैन सिंपली डिस्क्राइबिंग द डेटा दिस प्रैक्टिकल इज यूजफुल टू डेवलप स्किल्स टू क्रिएट एंड मैनिपुलेट टेबल्स इन द स्लाइड्स एंड रिप्रेजेंट्स the data in various forms of charts graphs and manage its representation the relevant course outcome is prepare professional presentation after performing this practical you will be able to add tables and charts in the slides also you can run slide presentation in different modes you can print slide presentation as a handouts to perform this practical you require some practical skills like to add tables and charts in the slides and manage it also you have to run the slide presentation with different modes and print slide presentation as a handouts some theory behind this practical is one of the major reason of using powerpoint presentation is to convey message to the audience via static data this leads to clarity of message to the user and increase the readability and understanding of user one shall make appropriate use of charts tables and graphs to fulfill the need to perform this practical you require the resources like computer system you can use any desktop or laptop with basic configuration also you require office software package you can use open office star office libre office ms office or any other such software following activities are to be carried out using identified software package you have to create a new presentation use relevant tools from the menu using shortcut keys to perform following task you have to create and format the table in presentation to create a table select the slide to add a table from the relevant menu select table specify the number of rows and columns to add text to the table table cells click a cell and then enter the text you can also create charts in presentation using the relevant menu ribbon select the chart option select the type of charts from the different charts type modify a chart you can change the type of chart then select the chart and use relevant option to choose the new chart type you can also format the chart layout styles and you can print slide presentation as a handouts to do this go to print menu from the print option choose handouts specify the number of slides per page then order of slides to print and then click on okay button you have to complete the exercise like prepare a slide show and add chart showing in gender specific population of your class the second exercise is create a chart in slide show depicting your earlier semester's mark in a bar chart these are some practical related questions you have to differentiate normal view and slide shorter view the second question is what is the significance of banded row and banded column of the table and the third question is which chart type is most ap appropriate to compare magnitude and show trends let us discuss the answers of these questions the first question is differentiate normal view and slide shorter view the answer is normal view it is the main editing view where you write and design your presentation normal view has four working areas whereas in case of slide shorter view slides are displayed in thumbnail form this will make it easy for you to sort and organize the sequence of your slides as you create your presentation and prepare a presentation for printing the second question is what is the significance of banded rows and banded columns of the table the answer of this question is 
when there is a lot of data it is easier for the human eye to distinguish in between the rows and columns when there is color bending the option for bending rows and column helps in creating alternating bands of colors or shaded rows and columns the third question is which type of chart is most appropriate to compare magnitude and show trends so to compare the magnitude the area chart is most appropriately used and to show trends line chart is appropriately used this is all about practical number 15 from course fundamental of icte thank you for watching